Booi Aha Manchu, Booi Nialma for male, Booi Hihi for female. Chinese transliteration, Bao Yi Aha is a Manchu word literally meaning household person, referring to hereditarily servile people in the 17th century China. It is often directly translated as bondservant, although sometimes also rendered as slave. New Kai Topic Concept of the Booi Aha Pamela Kyle Crossley wrote in her book Orphan Warriors, The Mongol is the slave of his sovereign. He is never free. His sovereign is his benefactor, the Mongol does not serve him for money. This Mongolian traditional model of slave to owner was taken up by the Manchu during the development of the Eight Banner military system. Crossley gave as the definition of Manchu, "...a Manchu was, moreover, a man who used his skills exclusively to serve the sovereign Banners as institutions were derived from Turkic and Mongolian forms of military servitude, all enrolled under the banners considered themselves slaves of the emperor and called themselves so Aha, Chinese, Nukai Pinyin, Nukai when addressing him. Topic Usage. In his book China Marches West, Peter C. Perdue stated, "In 1624, after Nurhaci's invasion of Liaodong, Chinese households who had five to seven Manchu sin of grain (800 to 1,000 kilograms) were given land and houses, while those with less were made into slaves." The Manchu established a close personal and paternalistic relationship between masters and their slaves, as Nurhaci said, "...the master Chinese, Zuzi should love the slaves and eat the same food as them." Purdue further pointed out that Booi Aha "...did not correspond exactly to the Chinese category of bondservant slave." Chinese, Nupu instead, it was a relationship of personal dependency on a master which in theory guaranteed close personal relationships and equal treatment, even though many Western scholars would directly translate Booi as bondservant. In the book A History of Chinese Civilization, Jacques Gurnett pointed out that Chinese agricultural slaves were employed as early as the 15th century, and by the late 16th century it was observed that all the Manchu military commanders had both field and house servants. Between 1645 and 1647, Qing rulers enclosed Chinese Quanda large numbers of previously Chinese-owned estates over vast areas of North China, Eastern Mongolia and neighborhood of Peking, and for land cultivation they were using a labor force consisting of bondservants which were previous land owners and prisoners of war. According to Gurnett, regardless of repeated calls from the leader Nurhaci that the master should love the slaves. Manchu slave masters treated their slaves very harshly, arranged numerous corvies Chinese, Yao Yi Chang Po de Lao Yi and sold and bought their slaves as if they were animals. Booi was sometimes regarded as synonymous with Booi Aha, but Booi usually referred to household servants who performed domestic service, whereas Aha usually referred to the servile people who worked in fields. Booi Aha and the Liaodong Han Chinese The number of Booi Aha of the Imperial Household Department seems to have risen mainly during the Nurhaci's conquest of the eastern fringes of the Liao River Basin in the 1610s and 1620s, resulting in the massive increase of the numbers of captives. In 1618, Nurhaci increased the Yurchin state's population by 300,000 by the taking of Fushun. This large increase of its population changed the policy on Booi Aha. During the first year of conquest to 1624, the captured Chinese were generally enslaved, and bore obligations to private persons, while later in 1624 to 1625 they were often enrolled in the ranks of the semi-dependent agriculture class, Jusin, who bore obligations to the state. 
Freeholder status was given to Li Yongfang's 1,000 troops after his surrender of Fushun, and the later Chinese Bannaman Hanjin, or Han Bannaman Bao Chengxian and Shi Tingzu also experience good fortune in Qing service after their surrenders in 1622 at Guangning. The Aha were made out of enslaved Yurchins, Koreans, Han Chinese, and Mongols before 1616, they then became part of the Booi bondservants attached to Manchu banners. There is no evidence that after 1621 most of the Booi were were Han Chinese despite the mistaken view held by many of this topic. Many different ethnic groups were Booi, including Koreans and ethnic Manchu bondservants as well. Both Koreans, Han Chinese, and Yurchins who were prisoners of war or abducted became part of the AHA, the forerunner of the Booi bondservants in the banners, although the Yurchins integrated into their own some of the earlier captured Han Chinese and Koreans. The Jianzhou Yurchins accepted some Han Chinese and Koreans who became Jusin freeholders on Jianzhou land. Russians, Koreans, Manchus, and Han Chinese were all bondservants in the imperial household. Some lands for farming in Manchuria were used to dump soldiers after the position of Kaihoran was assigned to former Booi. The imperial exam resulted in the bureaucracy receiving some important Booi while others fled as there was a drastic drop in Booi population. The imperial court saw the rise of the Han Chinese Booi Cao Yin. <laughs> Upper Three Banners of Niwufu The Manchu Booi Aha home slaves system was the origin of the Niwufu Chinese, Ne Wu Fu or Imperial Household Department Organization. The personnel of this department came from the Booi of the Manchu Eight Banners Upper Three Banners, Border Yellow, Plain Yellow and Plain White. The highest official's title was Dorgi Baida Isahiara Amban, a Manchu term Chinese, Zong Guan Ne Wu Fu Da Shane a position mostly occupied by Manchu princes. The upper three banners of the Niwufu Chinese, Ne Wu Fu Shang San Chi Manchu, Booi Elon Gusa was a unique military system of Manchu. Apart from providing the clothing, food, housing and transportation for the operating of daily functioning of the imperial family, it also had a military function, which is to provide military protection for the inner imperial court. In the Qing court, the number of eunuchs was reduced to less than 10% of that of Ming court because eunuchs were replaced by Booi, the Qing imperial court's home servants. Various classes of Booi Booi Niru a Manchu word Chinese, Bao Yi Zuo Ling meaning Niwufu Upper Three Banner Platoon Leader about 300 men. Booi Guanlin a Manchu word Chinese, Bao Yi Guanling meaning the manager of the Booi, doing all the domestic duties of the Niwufu. Booi Amban is also a Manchu word, meaning high official Chinese. Bao Yi Da Estate Bannerman Chinese, Zhuang Tu Qi Ren are those renegade Chinese who joined the Yurchin, or original civilian soldiers working in the fields. These people were all turned into Booi Aha, or field slaves. Status of the Booi Aha Chinese scholar Mo Dongyin Chinese, Mo Dongyin in his Essays on Manchu History Chinese, Man Zhu Shi Lun Kong wrote that Booi has a dual meaning, one, household servants, and two, slaves. But in Manchu society, Booi Chinese, Bao Yi occupied a special class, in which they served their masters by doing all kinds of manual work and at the same time, with the permission from the master Chinese, Zhu Zi can enslave other Booi, thus becoming masters themselves. With the establishment of the Qing dynasty and the maturity of its political system, Booi were organized into Booi Gusa Manchu, slave banner and incorporated into both the Eight Banners Army and the Imperial Household Department. Booi had since become part of the Qing dynasty political hierarchy, with the emperor being the master, and emperor's Booi working for the master and the imperial court simultaneously. When addressing the emperor, Booi would refer to themselves as Nupu or Nukai Chinese, Nupu or Chinese Nuk But when Booi were addressing others, even though they were Nukai of the emperor Chinese, Huang Di De Nukai they would refer to themselves as superior officials of the Han Chinese Chinese 
Han Ren de Zhang Wan. It was possible for Han Banaman and Han Bond servants BOOI to become Manchu by being transferred into the upper three Manchu banners and having their surname Manchufied by adding a Gia Jia at the end as a suffix. The process was called Tai Chi in Chinese. It typically occurred in cases of intermarriage with the Qing Aizen Gioro imperial family, and the close relatives fathers and brothers of the concubine or empress would get promoted from the Han banner to the Manchu banner and become Manchu. See also Slavery in China Imperial Household Department Nukai